Leave it, adding a verbal cue. Warm up with leaving treats from the ground. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. If you know your dog will leave it, say the verbal cue as soon as the dog looks at the treats. Click and treat when the dog leaves it and looks back at you. Increase criteria by walking past treats on the ground. At first, I might not use my verbal cue because this is the first time the dog has done this exercise. If you cue leave it and your dog does not respond, do not let your dog get the item that he should be leaving. Wait for your dog to look at you and click and treat that behavior. If your dog is staring and pulling towards the item, you can make your positive interrupter noise and when your dog looks at you, click and treat. If your dog continues to fail and tries to get the item, go back to treats on the floor, in an open hand, or no mugging. It helps if you start to add the cue when you know for sure your dog understands not to go for the item. You're teaching your dog what you want him to know, and then you're adding a cue to that particular behavior. Baby! Oh, what a good girl! You're the best! Yum, he's as bad as the cheese on the ground. Yeah, good girl! Yeah, good girl! Your dog might still want the item that is on the ground, but following your verbal cue of leave it pays off for your dog, so it is in his best interest to do the cued behavior. The first time you do this training exercise, you can start with a really low value item such as kibble on the ground and use a high value item to reinforce with. Oh, you're the best. This is my puppy Winnie's first leave it, treats on the ground, and adding a verbal cue training session.